Burns? Final here, so uh, exciting times now. The finals have um, come around with our first season of NBL One. So yeah, this should be a cracking matchup, and the, the big crowds come in here to the arena tonight. We've got a few more to get in, but let's uh, hope for a great game between the Geelong SuperCats and the Dandenong Rangers. Yeah, so looking at um, at our teams tonight, Dandenong starting five. I can tell you the Supercats are starting. Louis Thomas, Nick Awusu, Arlo Hicks, uh, Demarcus Gatlin and AJ Williams. So that's their usual starting five. So let's see how they perform tonight. Uh, and for Dandenong Rangers, we've got Barker, Froling, Bayendo, don't know how to say that one, uh, Lang, Kerner and Kernis Drew. Much more experienced Salo Hicks, who's you know obviously got ears and, and weight on him, so it'll be really interesting to see that match out there. Jim. Just about tip off, we're ready to roll. Let's get down to it. And possession goes to Dandy on there. Underway we go. Let's see what the Super Cats come out defensively here. Like we're straight into it, just a straight, ma um, straight man on man in EQ. Little fade away there, off hands, and it goes back to Danny Nong. So, baseline inbound here, great hands there by Louis Thomas. A kick catch. Oh, the Supercats will be pleased with that. That is a great start to the game for the Supercats. 
real great defensive intensity. And after what they saw, what we saw with the Supercats last week, they were certainly off. They'll be really pleased with that. Coach O'Neill will be. So Danny Long, bit of full court pressure here. Williams pushing the ball up. Over, the, over it goes now. Geelong moving the ball around, getting a feel for the game. Awusu with three for three, and he's knocked it down. That's what the Supercats wanted. Great start there by Nick Awusu. Danny Nong just moving the ball around, getting through their half-court offence. Oh, lovely offensive play, but an equally good defensive play there by Demarcus Gatlin. Brilliant, brilliant rotation there by Demarcus, and with his athletic ability, he got up there and got the block. Another end line inbounds here from um, Danny Nong. Oh, they had the layup. There was a great play, just Froling just couldn't quite finish there. Supercats in transition. Awusu again. Off that time, but he's come out firing, he's come out confident, so that's good to see. Dan missed three there and a great rebound by Demarcus Gatlin for the Supercats. Pushing the ball in transition. But great defensive transition there by Dandy Nong too. Just getting through their half court, just getting a feel in early in this elimination final for each other. Dandy Nong of playing just straight up man on man here as well. Supercats just getting through the offense. You want to get everyone early, bit of a touch. Demarcus there, Gatlin with a bit of a fade away, just missed the 10 footer. Oh, absolutely beautiful drive there and a great finish on the left there. That was Lucas Barker, the point guard. It's a great play there by Lucas Barker. Bit of a mismatch down here in the post. Barker's got Arlo Hicks in the post. And he took advantage of it. He missed the first one, got the offensive board and got back into it. So great play there by Arlo Hicks and great recognition by the Supercats to get the uh, mismatch. You've got to do those things. Just had a ball go straight through the key with no defensive or offense hands on it, and it goes straight to the Supercats. We've got a 7 to 2 lead to the Supercats here, so they'll be really pleased with this start at the moment. Intensity's much more improved on what they presented last week. Oh, great push there by Louis Thomas, and he's in on transition and sends it down. Great play there by the Supercats, and we've got a timeout from Danny Long. The Supercats players getting the crowd to lift. game here with, with three minutes in and the Supercats have come out beautifully to, uh, to get a 9-2 lead. Danny Nong have called the timeout here just to settle things down, get a bit of a feel for it. Sorry guys, we're having a bit of a technical difficulties yeah. down here at uh, the Geelong Arena. The game's underway and as I said here, we've got a great start and welcome back by the way. It's good to have you back. I don't want to comment too, uh, commentate solely tonight. Supercats with a bit of full court pressure there and a great steal. Just bounces back to Danny Nong there. It's, the, it's coming from the stats. You guys are fine. Lovely little 10 foot jumper there. Give the Danny Nong back to, up to four. Supercats will be really happy with their start here. What do you think, Hugh? They're really, and there's a absolutely beautiful little offense there, and Louis Thomas caught that 
for the just a little stick, uh, little uh, two footer there. Yeah, the Supercats have started off really well, um, putting the pressure to Dandenong after what happened last time. Um, they're certainly out to to really blow this game out. Yeah, and they're... get the win. And AJ for three from the side misses it, but great chase stand by Demarcus Gatlin there. Just lost the handle there, but. Dandenong in transition there, here they go. No one's picked up the ball. Just a little settling in the play now. So Supergats moving into their half-court offense here. They've run that really well so far. They've been impressed, they've moved well. Out to Hicks on the wing. A little bit of standing around there looking. Lovely little feed there and a lovely finish by Demarcus Gatlin there to take the Subekers up 13 to 4. This is a brilliant start. Danny Long have got to get a, got to get a score here and start getting some stops there in the other end, Hugh. Yeah, look, Coach Perry would be interesting to see what's going on behind the scenes there. And um, anyone yeah, sorry, Hugh. Anyone we, remembers um, Darren Perry when he, he's playing Dash Hugh, you're a little bit young, but he was a, a feisty, feisty defender, and there they go. A three-pointer there for Danny Long, so much needed. Yeah. AJ to the rack for the Supergats and a great follow there by Arlo Hicks. Two more points to him. Great little hand in there by in transition by Louis. Louis Thomas. Little interesting little entry pass, but another two to the Supergats. They're absolutely on fire here. They are loving this start. Early 10-point lead is you'll take that any time in an elimination final, won't you, Hugh? Yeah, setting the tone early. Um, the Supercats really need to keep this pressure up, uh, forcing Dandenong to, to make some shots like that. Um, as we see a subs from both teams, with Louis Varley from Geelong coming in for Nika Wusu and Dyson Baidom Bayum. I'm not even going to try and say that. Um, well, you did try, Hugh, and you did your best, mate. That's all we can ask for. He's a big unit with a big lot of hair, but so we'll see how he matches up against the Geelong's big fella. They've actually changed here. to a 2-3 zone, Hugh, I've noticed. So they've gone out from their man to man. AJ from the top and bangs down the three. 20-7 to seven lead into the Supercats, and they are looking really good. They'll be very, very happy here. Danny Nong need to really start putting pressure on these on these shots. Uh, Geelong just keep finding the gaps. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's, it's easy see, to say. As we see a turnover. turnover there. And that's DeMarcus's bread and butter, isn't it? It was a great little finish in transition there, but... No. As we see an offensive foul. Wow. Called on Matt Kenyon. Right in front of the super catch fence, and they were up and loved it. So well done there to AJ Williams and DeMarcus Gatlin with their full court pressure. Crowd still gathering here, here. They're still still coming in. Let's hope we fill up the stadium because there's nothing better than the arena packed to capacity and cheering on the Supercats. That's the way we like it. Hicks kicks it out to Gatlin oh. and he's knocking down the three. Wow, we not his strength, but he'll take that anytime. That's a boost to Demarcus's game. So great job, Supercats there again. Good solid man on man here. They're moving their feet well. Demarcus, as we know, is a brilliant defender. Just probably overreached. They've got a little loop reach in foul, Hugh. Yeah, Supercats are currently shooting at 64% at the moment. So nine from nine from 14. As we see uh, a sub here for the for the Rangers, as Sam Froling checks in for Josh Oswald. Yeah, as I said before, Josh um, Sam Froling's a young Australian gun, so they'll be looking um, for him to really get his hands on the ball and get some shots. I'm really, as I said, I'm really interested to see what he can provide for us too. There's a three-point, oh, bit of a brick there, a great rebound by Hicks there, and he's leading the break. This is what the Supercats can do. There's five guys on this court that can lead the break. AJ for three, misses that one, and a great rebound there by Froling. Supercats need to keep running the floor. Yeah. Uh, Dandenong just can't keep up oh, with them at the moment, so... It's been, the, look, it's clearly when you look at the five on court for the Super Cats, uh, Hugh, it's their, it's their strength, is it? When they've got their four and five man that can lead the break, it's not what you ideally want, but they've got five guys that can get out in transition, so they've looked at their best this year when they're in transition. And all five on the court at the moment can bury that three pointer as we see a uh, and Thomas again fast for break another by dunk. Lewis. Boom! Down it goes. 
just on cue, wasn't he here? Another tr easy transition bucket, and I tell you what, Darren Perry will be very disappointed in their transition defence at the moment. Dandenong need to do something right now. Uh, Geelong have 27 points, and it's not even the uh, the end of the first. As we see more substitutions come in, we have Marley come in, and Kenyon, no, sorry, my correction, Kernich Jurek come in. And I think that probably is evidence there, Hugh. Three multiple substitutions. You rarely see that at this level, but I think that probably shows the frustration of the coach. So let's see what this new this new five on court can do. I think Darren's trying to find the perfect five that'll work together as uh, Lucas Barker very oh, tries to shoot a three. Here we go. That's a nice little roll there on the post move. So good. That's just those little one percent as the offensive rebound gives them another chance. It's exactly what they need. Barley off to Gatlin, just running their half-court offense against Supercats, it's, but it is. Great find there by Lewis yeah. Thomas. It was. You don't generally want your point guard down there in the low in the low block, but AJ drew the foul and heads to the foul on now. But look, Hugh, you, you stated it not long ago, 27 to 9. I mean, that is an outstanding, an outstanding start to the game for the Supercats, but equally, you know, disappointing for the the Dandenong Rangers. AJ knocks down that first one. Sorry, people, we're still having a few technical difficulties here on, on, our, on our computer screen, so we're doing our best. Two down for the Supercats. Well done, AJ. And he's, and we've got a sub out here. So 29 to 9, and we've got a, substitu a substitution there for the Supercats. Louis Thomas, after a great start, is out, and Goodwin in. Three from the corner. Louis Varley gets the rebound. A minute and a half left here in the first quarter of the elimination final. Geelong Supercats, standing on Rangers at the Geelong Arena. We've also got young uh, Cohen Blythe in here. He's hands it off. Uh, Three-pointed AJ Williams. This is phenomenal, people. 32 to 9. This is outstanding start by the Supercats. It's certainly the best I've seen the play all year. So plenty of work to do here for the Dandenong Rangers, but you never rule yourself out yet. It's lots of time to play. Great rebound there after a little 10 foot miss, 10 foot jumper miss. Louis Valley pushes the ball off to AJ. Back to the man on man here, Dandenong. So they're in their man on man. AJ looking to penetrate, pulls up from 15. A little bit strong there. It's good to see him being aggressive. We need a lot. The Supercats won a lot from AJ tonight. Oh, and there's a beautiful play. We just got a little pass and cut there. Almost the old give and go. Got to the wing, kept, kept cutting to the basket in the great layup there. So 32 to 11 here lead to the Supercats. They'll want one more score and a stop. And there is a beautiful defensive play on the rotation there by number two for Dandy. I'm sorry, Hugh, I've got, you've got the names there. Great defensive play. That was by, Dex by Dexter there, so great play there. And we've just got a foul down here on the Supercats. 19.9 seconds left in our first quarter here. 32 to 11 lead to the Supercats. Another sideline, in uh, end line inbounds. And he was fouled there, there on the he caught the jump shot in on the first pass in a little foul there by Cohen Bott. So off to the line for two shots for Dexter here. Knocks the first down there, so 32 to 12 lead to the Supercats. Might seem really simple here, but you know the Want the, the, one, the one point from the foul should be in there. Definitely want to get a stop down the other end. Knocks down the two. So 32 to 13 here. By the same time, again, the Supercats will be looking to get one last score here. Score in the last two or three seconds, so that it just gives minimal time for the, the Rangers to go back up the other end. High screen up by McInerney. Moving it. AJ for three. Misses that. It's one, two, and a two half-court shot. Knocks every bit of the backboard and the clock but the ring. And the Supercats go to the bench. Really happy with that. 32 to 13. Hugh, what do you think? 
Uh, yeah, look, uh, Supercats have started off very strong. Uh, almost surprising Danny Nong at the moment. Uh, but, yeah, look, this is great for the Supercats. If they can keep this up, uh, we will have a very lopsided game. Yeah, we will. Look, and look, we don't, we don't want that. Look, a, a close game's a good game, but certainly for the Supercats fans listening there and in the stadium tonight, they... You know, they're happy with that, as are every, everyone to the, the bench for the Super Gets there. So, look, they were really lethargic last week, I thought, Hugh, when they had a really important game. They needed, you know, they had a chance to get a double chance last week, and they came out, and they, look, putting it bluntly, they played poorly. And so far, they've, you know, one quarter they've redeemed themselves, but it's going to take three more quarters of effort, isn't it? Yeah, and look, they've, they want to prove themselves to the league. And just to everyone to watch him, we'd like to apologise. Uh, we are having a bit of technical difficulties down here at the Geelong Supercats. Um, at the arena, we are trying to solve them as we speak. So well, We're we still up on dial-up internet down here. Yeah. We're still on the phone, the old phone line, mate. So. so we will regularly update you guys with the score during the live stream. But as we said, we are having technical difficulties down here with our live stats. Sorry for any inconveniences. We'll do our best, as you said, to commentate and help you out. So it'll be interesting to see if um, Danny Nong change a little bit tactically here. They've had a you know, couple of minutes to discuss here, Darren, Darren Perry. So it'll be really interesting to see what they come out with. It. Look, they've got a, in simple terms here, they've got a left down intensity. Man. You don't go down 32 to 13. Yeah. Even if the other teams, you know, the Supergats are playing brilliantly, but they've got to lift their effort. And they're, you know, it'd be interesting to see this first couple of minutes, what happens. Yeah, Dandenong have been a strong team throughout the season. Uh, being pretty much only losing one more game, one less game than the Supercats. Uh, so, and they had, a, they had, they won in overtime last week to mark the finals. I'm pretty sure I read that. So, you know, they, they got a really big boost from that. So, certainly be disappointed, but let's see how they come out. It looks like they're, but the Supercats have got a Wusu on, Goodwin, Varley, Blythe and Hicks. So, really quite a different outfit, uh, out, um, outfit here for the Supercats. They've got a younger squad, you know, um, four bench, um, three bench players, pardon me. Yeah. And the, Super, and the uh, sorry, my bad, the Rangers. Koenig Drew, uh, Sam Froling, Lewis Barker, Marley Boyeldolu. Thank you, I'm going to let wrong. you go with the names tonight. And uh, Tim Lang. Barley drives down hard, push. Here it is in transition for the Rangers. Just couldn't quite finish that. Pretty good defensive defensive transition by the two Supercats boy. Wusu picks the ball up, pushes the ball up court. Goes down the lane, but gets stripped again. So two turnovers. Lewis there, Barker Isha. taking a fast break. And gets, gets fouled by Colin Blythe. So two early turnovers to the Super Gets there. So that's a little bit of defensive pressure from Danny Nong. So pretty sure Darren Perry will be pleased with that. But so yeah. Inbound, off, straight off the inbound for the three and misses. Oh, a great offensive rebound over Wusu then and a great little little cut as the goes. Um, Bark have cut down the key, so beautiful finish there. Good start here from the Dandenong Rangers. They need a lot more of that though. Off to the wing to Varley. Supercats just moving. Awusu for three, that looks nice. Just off the back of the ring. So no early score here for the Supercats, so this is what Dandenong wanted. Straight up man to man for the Supercats. Nice little move there by Froling. Got his own offensive board and stick back. Great play there by Froling. Well done for the young fella. As Lewis Thomas comes in for Mark Goodwin. Lewis has been a standout this season for the uh, for the Supercats. He has. Yeah, I've been. I knew nothing about him before the season, but he has been. He's outstanding. What I love about his game, he's he's multi. He, he can he can go to the low post. He's a great shooter, but defensively he's good and he rebounds well. So he's really you know clearly got a lot to work on. But he's he has got a lot as Varley for three. That's the Louis Varley we know from the local competition. Hugh, you and I see him each Tuesday play, and he he can dominate that competition. So to see him scoring out for the Supercats is a great thing. Yeah, Louis. Louis always been around playing as we see. Kernich drew with the M1, and, and the foul looks to be on Cohen Blythe as Demarcus Gatlin checks back into the game for Cohen Blythe, and Matt Kenyon checks in for Marley 
by Ildo. And that was a great little baseline cut there. Great little baseline cut and an awesome little pass and a finish there. So I think Dan and I will be happy with the first two minutes of this quarter. They're still down 16, but they've just made some little inroads here. So Supercats getting Thomas and, and yes. Gatlin back in. Koenig's Drew makes the free throw. 35 to 20 going the Supercats way. Just feels a little bit better when they've got to the 20 point mark. So they'll, you know, just a psychological boost. Varley for three. Oh, he's missed that one, but a nice shot there. I'm happy to, I think the Supercats will be happy for Varley to take cleans, that one. Sam Frawley cleans up the boards as Matt Kenyon launches, but doesn't complete the three. Varley pushes it up, gets it to Wusu, who's going to run the half court offense here. Let's see what they do now. Gets the ball to Gatlin. Varley off the pick, then hicks across from a little pick from Varley and misses the 10 footer. But nice little offense there by the Super Gets, just couldn't quite finish. Sam Froling with another rebound. So we go into the post with Tim Lang. Oh. No, it was actually nice hands there by the Super Gets, but it, it, it um, bounced straight into the hands of a. One of the Rangers, one you can run under the basket. So 35 to 22, the score on here. I think Danny Long, as I said a couple of times, they'll be really happy with this start, Hugh. Yeah, they've started. Uh, Supercats have not scored no. since the start of the quarter as Lewis Thomas goes to the basket. And it looks to be a foul on Sam Frawley, making that his first foul for the night. Probably what we were saying a couple of minutes ago about Louis Thomas there. He can shoot from the outside, he can post, but there he is. A little, little, he caught the ball, the high, virtually the high post, took it hard to the rack, and well done to Louis Thomas. Supercats need a score here. Bit of a brick on that foul shot. He got that up way short, Hugh. <laughs> Been one of the one of the poor things for the Super Gets their, their foul shooting and their three point shooting this year is something that's not certainly not of the strength as he knocks down the second. So well done. Got a bit of what have we got here to hear defensively, Hugh? Bit of a three quarter court. Yeah, just just sort of press, just to that light pressure. Yeah, not, not, not the full intensity of it. Just sort of take them out of the start of their offense. As Tim Lane pulls up from the three point and line and buries it. That'll be a big confidence booster. Absolutely. Look That's, at that scoreline, Hugh. Yeah. 11 points. It feels like it's back to an even game in, in three minutes of this quarter. 36-25. The Geelong Supercats have only scored one point this quarter in four minutes. So... Down to, the, down down to Hicks in the block. And that was a nice strong move. He got really good position in there and he used his body very cleverly as, as Hicks can. So well done, Darlow Hicks. Nice, nice movement of feet there by Gatlin. He's stop, stopped the transition. Bang, another three there. Barker knocks down the three. Beautiful little shot there. You got Awusu stuck behind, below the screen and had the open look. As Demarcus Gatlin. goes hard to the rack. Kicks with the great offensive rebound. They're going to move it around here. Wusu doing a bit of shimming and shaking. Ooh, oh, and he, oh, got he, his ankles. Boom. Oh. oh, that one deserved to go down. It was an ankle break, wasn't it, Hugh? Sam Frawling got turned there <laughs> by the veteran. Yeah, I think there's uh, Nick's almost double the young fella's age. As Lewis Barker pulls up from oh. deep. Oh, and he tells he tells the Wusu. And here we go. He's told him all about it. As Coach O'Neill calls a timeout. Making the scoreline 38-31. And a much needed time out there, Hugh. Be, this, this is what can happen in any sport, but any basketball. Though, the Supercats would be extremely disappointed in their first five minutes of this quarter. They've let, they've let the Rangers back in, but by the same token, the Rangers have they've lifted their defensive intensity. They've got a few stops, and they've been able to knock down the shot. So cre all credit here to the Dandenong Rangers. Very big quarter here for the Dandenong Rangers, scoring 18 points to Geelong's six. Yeah. So whether Geelong got too comfortable and put the, took the pedal off or... Well, I think the substitutions, I've got to say, were interesting starting five. I think the, the, um, the, the coach there went with, so whether well, it comes back to bite them, but certainly 38 to 31 there, a great fight back here by the Dandy Nung Rangers in this Saturday night elimination final from the Geelong Arena. Down here in the best part of the world, by the way, Hugh. Love this Geelong city. 
A lot of people mock it, but we're, we've got the greatest place in the world. We're not far from Melbourne. We've got all the coastal areas around us, and we've got a beautiful waterfront in the city. So make sure you get down and visit Geelong. I'm not sure why I'm selling Geelong here. We're meant to be selling the basketball, but we'll do what we want. We've got AJ back in for the Super Gets now. So he had a pretty, I was pretty happy with his first quarter. I think the coach would. How many points did he have, uh, Hugh? AJ started the game off with eight points. Yeah, and that's a, that's a really good quarter. So they'll be looking for more for him. So Super Gets back to the starting five, and I think they need that for a little while here. As Lucas Barker, another steal. Yeah, Hicks tried to cross him over. and just Matt Kenyon with the great finish there. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Great, just in transition, the one pass, one pass and just a little lap, a great finish. Secrets don't just look a little bit unsure here, don't they? AJ for three, that's big. And I took my eyes foul. off and I was watching the shot and he's got fouled on the three-pointer there. So three foul shots here to uh, AJ. Lewis Barker picking up that foul. And I feel it's really been Louis Barker that's got the, uh, the Lewis Barker, the, Lucas, sorry, Barker that's got the, the Rangers back in this. He's knocked in a couple of threes. He's led the defensive end with a couple of steals this quarter and he's also, you know, got a couple of beautiful assists. So their point guard is doing the damage. As AJ lined up, buries the first. It's 39 to 33, Hugh. Now the second, there's three shots here. Doesn't happen too often, but it certainly happens, seems to be fouled on the three point shot. As he certainly makes more the than second. it used to be, makes the second, so we're 40 to 33. And the third one here for AJ, it'll be another big boost for him as he's in, in double figures now, looking for his 11th point for the game. Three out of three, that's good for the Super Cats. We see just full court pressure on Barker there. Rolling out the 45. Great. Oh, great rebound there yeah, by Matt Kenyon. It was. With Marlow, who looks to pick up the foul for coming over the back. It's his second foul. So it's been a bit of an issue for Arlo over the years. I've known him when he played for the Cry Base Stingrays and someone that always, or quite often gets into foul trouble and he's a, you know, a massive key for the Supergates, isn't he, Hugh? So they want him on court as much as possible. Yeah, he's a very can play the big but can also play a guard um, shooting pretty well most games uh, if he's given the three ball then he he will take it he won't be one to drive it in so he's certainly multi-talented again like most of the super gets players are just you love seeing when the big fella just gets a bit angry yeah he's, he's the gentle giant AJ's got out on the wing here looking for Thomas down in the post bit of a double team a poor pass Danny Long out in transition again, but good good coverage there by AJ and Louis Thomas. Oh, great defense there by Lewis Thomas. Just that's block. happened. Yeah, great. It was. It was great D, but just bounced again to Danny Long. So they're getting a couple of the rolls, but you know what? They're in the right place at the right time. So good job Score to them. Score one at the moment is 41-36. Danny Long are rolling. I didn't see it coming here. I've got to say that. I did not see this coming. I don't think the Supercats did either. No. Okay. The Marcus goes to the basket and oh, with a nice lovely double Oh, with his athleticism. <laughs> like to see a bit more aggression from DeMarcus. He's been quiet. Another Great three, three for there. Danny Ong. Great three there by Kearney's Drew. Uh, one of the better shooters in this Danny Ong team. As he is. That will be his second for tonight. So 43 to 39 here, three minutes left in our first half. As they find Lewis under the basket. Great pass there by Marlo Hicks. Really Lewis, unusual then. Lucas Barker was a bit too short then. He as was. Lewis gets the steal again. And looks to go. Ball. As he finds Nick Wusu under the basket. Back to Gatlin on the wing. Oh, oh. It's probably the overpass there by Hicks, wasn't it? Probably had the, I think he had the, what do you think, Hugh? Did he, yeah, did he take that in himself? The yeah, then. Plus. They go straight back into the post. Great move there. Great defense by Lewis. It was. And again, we've got another offensive rebound. I don't know what the stats are this quarter here for those offensive boards. but that's Sam Frawling is cleaning. He is cleaning up, up those boards. boards, isn't he? Yeah. So Supercats got a box out. Just 
Two minutes, 20 to go. Only a four-point lead here to the Supercats. Arusso on the wing here. Nice little play there. Good offensive rebound by, hit, um, by Lewis Arusso for, for Louis, and that's what the Supercats needed. Get the crowd into it. It feels, it's, it's amazing here, even though the Supercats hit three, it really feels like a complete reverse, I guess the scoreline's showing that, but the intensity of the Supercats seems to be right down. Their body language isn't as good, but I guess that happens when you've, when the Rangers have come out and they don't really know what to do. Great day against there by Louis. And Demarcus. Demarcus just pulls it up there and he's Ooh, that's off there, that one. Bit wide. As Michael Rebula checks in for the first time tonight for the Supercats and we have a timeout to Coach Perry. Looks like he wants to talk over what they are going to do. Well, I think quarter time of year, I think they would have been happy to back, in all honesty, within 15 points. So to get it to seven points here and, you know, a, a, st a score and a stop here, and, you know, they could be within five points and they'll be extremely pleased with that. So we'll see what happens here. Likewise, the Super gets exactly the same feelings. You know, they want a couple of stops to finish the quarter here, work on the boxing out because they've certainly um, given up a few offensive rebounds that they shouldn't have. A few of them have been lucky bounces, but right place, right time. So Just looking at the stats here, Lewis Thomas with 14 points. AJ Williams with 11, Marlowe with 6, Demarcus Gatlin with 11, and Louis Varley with 3, being the only scorer to come off the bench. And the Dandenong Rangers, Lucas Barker with 12, Kernish Drew with 11, Tim Lang with 9, and Kenyon coming off the bench with 5. Sam Froling. With only four points yet, cleaning up the boards with eight rebounds. That's right. I'm sure he'll get the scoring going in the second half. But you know, when your scoring's not happening for you, you've got to do it the other way. And at the moment, he's doing it with his defence and he's uh, rebounding. So that's a you know a lesson for the young fellow. And he, he probably is being told that by Coach Coach Perry. As Daniel on inbound the ball, Matt Kenyon brings up the ball. I've been impressed by his movement. He's a real athletic player in transition as well, isn't he, Hugh? Yeah. And gets it out there. They miss the three. Gatlin gets the rebound. 48 to 41, the Supercats so want to score here. McInerney on now for Hicks to end this quarter. Rangers still playing the man. To get into the Marcus hole. Marcus goes hard, and we have an offensive foul. Looks to be an offensive charge on Demarcus Gatlin. No remonstration there from Demarcus, just up. That's a great quality person. He's up. Knew it was an offensive foul back in the D. But great defensive step up there in the, in the help defense there. So well done to Danny again. So a key last minute 10 here at the Geelong Arena, Saturday night elimination final, NBL 1 men's basketball. In the half court here, Danny on they're moving, just, just taking the time here, and a lovely little cut again. Great pass there. Really to, patient uh, there, weren't they, Hugh? Like, I felt like they should have moved the ball, but they knew what they were doing, and a great little cut right through the key for the easy layup. Great finish there by Koenig's Drew. Uh, he is tearing it up at the moment. As Demarcus Gatlin. Gatlin Another for three. three. It's close. Ooh. Just a bit long and a great board there by Kenyon over the top of Abula. So that's five points. So let's see what happens here. To great defense there. And it looks to be a foul on, on you know, Michael Rebula. So he moved his feet well, but just had the reach in there in the end, yeah. didn't he? Which so sends Matt Kenyon to the line for two. I think I said this a couple of times last week, Hugh, not when you were here, but... Great offense should be great defense. You know, you can move your feet, but you know, at the end of the day, when you got the ball in hands and knocks down the foul shot, so it's 48 to 44. This is a brilliant recovery by Danny Long here. They are going to go, whatever happens in these last 26 seconds, they are going to go into the rooms here with a great, great feeling. As he makes the second one, and Coach Leon calls a timeout. So, what do you think? What will he do at this time out here? Will he be setting up an offense, do you think? Look. 20, 25, 26 seconds left on the clock. Uh, you look to probably get as draw your shot clock down as much as you can. Um, leave as little time with the Dandenong Rangers to do something as they can. Uh, and then from there, if you do get that quick shot, uh, play some good defense. Yeah. But yeah. That's right. The shot clock, what have we got? 1.9 seconds over the top of the shot clock here. So there is time for 
Danny Long, you're, you're right. You know, that last two or three seconds, they want to get the shot up there, have a couple on the offensive boards, and then smart defence the other way. So it'll be interesting to see what they come out of here with the offence. I think I've read it, you know, the, the local papers this week, you know, who, who is the go-to player for the Supercats? I mean, is it probably, it's probably the import, Demarcus Gatland, but I know Coach O'Neill has looked for him to be more aggressive. And he has been this year. It's not naturally Demarcus's game. He's, he's, he's not, you know, your he's not your natural scorer, despite him scoring, a, he's scoring average at 21. He's more of a, you know, guy in transition, gets the offensive rebounds, gets the easy bucket. And, you know, Louis Thomas has been someone they've looked to in the, in, um, in the key moments this year. So let's see what the Supercats get up. Get up to in this last offense, and it's it's a key it's a key 25 seconds. A stop or a good score here, either way, is going to make a big difference. Oh, they've come out a bit of difference defensively. I think is that a one three? As we see, it's a yeah, one three one. I think Dendron you. with a one three one. Yeah, that's interesting. Just to upset the Supercats there. So let's see what they run. They've just oh oh. As Matt Kenyon steps out of court, leaving the Geelong Supercats with 8.7 seconds left to get a good shot off here. And he's been really impressive, impressive this quarter, Kenyon. He's he's long and athletic, and has got out in the part in the in transition and in the passing lanes, and really got his hands on a lot of stuff. As we see a bit of full court pressure here from the Dandenong Rangers, and back into the man on man here. So just to change up again, just AJ takes it to the rack, gets a little bump. And it, Looks to be on the sideline with 3.3 yeah. 3 seconds left. I'm not sure if it's, it's a good foul, but it certainly stops the stops AJ getting to the basket. So in many ways, interesting it's to see what they they run off the sideline here. Who they look to go to? As Liam... hits the 20 footer. Ah! I'm not sure that's the offense they wanted, but they will take that as the Super Cats take a 50 to 45 lead into the first, into the halftime break. But, as we've said, all credit to the Dandenong Long Rangers there. An absolutely brilliant quarter there by them to get back within five. They'll be pleased going to their locker room. Supercats will be disappointed, but at the end of the day, they've got a five-point lead. So, I think at the start of the game, they would have taken that. So, yeah, we've, you know, let's have a look at the stats leaders. Could you run us through those, Hugh, please, Hugh? If our live stats will work. As we said before, earlier in the game, we are struggling with some technical difficulties at the moment. So... We are trying to keep you guys updated as well as we can during the game with these stats. But looking through the stats here, Lewis Thomas, 14 points. AJ, 11. Demarcus, 11. I have a feeling that these aren't updated. I think they're two points behind you from what I could see because the scoreline is 50 to 45. Just reiterating that, 50 to 45 lead to the Supercats. So as the Dandenong Rangers have a massive quarter 32 to 19, really blowing out this game and making it interesting. As we get the updated stats come through. So Lewis Thomas with 14, AJ with 11, Marlowe with 6, Demarcus Gatlin with 11 points and 5 rebounds. And I think the Super gets to be happy with that spread to start, isn't it? That's a, that's a good spread, as it is here for the uh, Danning Rangers. Uh, Lucas Barker, 12 points. Sam Frawling with four points, eight rebounds. And the half court shot almost goes down at half time for the car. As Kernich Drew has 13 points and is destroying everyone out there. Yeah, he's been really impressive. And Matt as well, Kenyon coming off the bench with seven points. Yeah, but it's been he's just his work rate, Kenyon. He's been really impressive as I stated many times. So a great, great uh, first half here. The game's live as we want. We want. We want a close game. I'd love a close game, Hugh. You know. We might be a slight, little bit biased down here, and we're both Supercat supporters. But you know, a great game's going to get the crowd involved and get, you know keep keep both teams interested. So, uh, well done to both teams. And we will be back in approximately 10 minutes.
All right, welcome back to the live stream between the Dandenong Rangers and the Geelong Supercats down here at the Geelong Arena. Now, first half, I we had some technical difficulties with our stats, but I believe we are back on and running. Don't get ahead of yourself, you. You never know, but that's certainly looking positive. Uh, looking at both teams, uh, Geelong come out firing. Um, Really blowing out the game in the first quarter. And Dandenong come back twice as hard and really just pulled them back into this game. Yeah. It was, it was, look, it's, in a sporting event, it's rare to see that much of a turnaround. We know it can happen, but that, that first quarter by the Supercats was, look, that was a 10 out of 10 quarter for them. So you certainly don't expect that to come back to it. But to Dandenong's credit, uh, five point deficit at half time, they would have been inside their, their rooms talking about that and they will have a real confident confident outlook for this half. As we have, I, I reckon it's the league's best mascot, Supercat Dan, Dan doing the dancing on the court. Brilliant mascot, brilliant dancer. And a credit to this great Supercats organisation who do a brilliant game night presentation. Players coming back on the court, so Supercats As Super we look, Cats, sorry, I was just going to say the Supercats still talking. So you know they've had the whole half time, but Coach O'Neill's still there, sitting on the, sitting on his seat, talking those last minute tactics. So it'll be really interesting to see the intensity both teams come out with. As we look at the uh, starting five on the court for the Dandenong Rangers, we have Kernich, Drew, Bar, oh no, Barker, yes, sorry, my bad, uh, Sam Froling, Tim Lang, and Dizon. By Thank you, Hugh. I appreciate that. Just look, we've spoken a fair bit about young Froling. One thing I'm disappointed we haven't got the um, the height of him. But just looking at him next to Louis Thomas, he's got to be a, he's got to be a good six foot eight, Hugh, doesn't he? He's a big boy. He's a big boy, and he certainly looks from here much older than he is. And away we go. 50 to 45. Supercats up. Second half action from the arena, and there is another brilliant offensive set there to start the half. They have been able to get too many backdoor cuts like that here, and the, the defence of the Supercats, which was brilliant in the first quarter, has really sent them back. Gatlin to the hole. Gets the roll! As that looks to be a foul on Kernich Drew, making that his first of tonight. Yeah. And I'd be very surprised if the Supercats don't again. They've got to go back to their strength here. Their strength this season, we've spoken about it earlier in the game, has been in transition and also looking at DeMarcus taking it to the rack. And DeMarcus knocks the three, and the, excuse me, makes the three-point play and knocks the foul shot. So that'll give him that boost of comments. Bit of pressure here. Oh, bad luck. That was a beautiful, beautiful drive there. As Nika Wusu cleans up. He gets up. the corner rebound, pushes it to AJ. Even the int intent looks better here. Thomas on the 45, takes it hard to the rack. Just dropped it off, but good little hands defensively by the, by the Rangers. Certainly since the first quarter, they've got a... Oh. As Sam Falling gets fouled by, looks to be Lewis Thomas. Uh, we will clarify that. Foul on Lewis Thomas, making that his... Lewis Thomas on only his first, so... And the kids are up and dancing here to YMCA. That brings any basketball stadium to the... Uh, gets the kids on their feet. And usually when my kids are here, James, Emily and Lucy, hello to you, because I know they're watching on the live stream. As Sam Dance Froling, at home, kids. As Sam Froling misses the first. Oh. And makes the second. So 53 to 48, so that five-point deficit we had at halftime has stayed. Just a standard man on man here defensively for the, um, the Rangers. Bit of a mismatch out here. Froling is guarding Williams, so is there a, is there a, is there a mismatch otherwise size wise? Thomas kicks it out. Williams for three. Oh, Ooh, in and out, but good shot there and a good offense by the Supercats. Danny Long there in half transition here. Oh, pull up three. Kearney Strew pulls Boom. up. And buries wow. the three. Knocks it down. That was beautiful, and he has had a great game, hasn't he, Hugh? Yeah, Kernich Drew currently has 16 points 
in this game. That's shooting at a shooting a very high clip of 71%. And that's a confident when you can come in transition. You've got the you know the defense was not quite set, but it was there all. Oh, as AJ goes hard to the basket and leans awkwardly. Looks to be okay though. And he's up and about. Looked like a bit of contact there, but no, not too much, not too concerned about it. So when those little things happen, you just got to get it back on your bike, get your defense set, and they are. So a bit of bit of pressure here. Let's see how hard they push it up here. It's still still got one each, so man on man full court here. Easily out of it. Move it on. It's turning through run. again. Hicks Takes gets the rebound shot. and loves leading the break. Gets it to Gatlin on the wing. And that. Oh. Was the right, look, it was the right move by DeMarcus. He just couldn't finish there. Great move there by, uh, by Indolo uh, to go to the basket and finish that. So 53 oh. each here, Hugh. Supergats have got to get a score. Who do they go to? We, we sort of mentioned this the first late in the first half. Who's their go-to guy? Who's the guy that's going to get them here? Look, they can go to everyone. Um, all the players can score. Nico Rusu, as he doesn't hit anything on that shot, and Tim Lane down the other end gets absolutely wow watered up there and got him at the highest point here. That was by massive. Lewis Thomas, and then he did the stare down and the and you deserve the stare Ooh. down there. That was as massive. Strong. As they go into Marlow and Lewis is tearing it up at the moment. When you make that defensive play, you deserve the offense, the easy bucket at the other end. That was a Lewis massive is... defensive play. That was beautiful. Ooh. Play of the night. Lewis is trying to get this game back in the Supergats hands. Really, it'll be interesting to see how much, how good he plays on Sam Frawling. As Sam Frawling gets out to the three, misses that. Rebound by Tim Lang there. It's a good offensive rebound then. He's out the corner. Tim Lang in the corner. Oh, here we go. Muller on the Hicks on the break. break again. He's a point guard at home. Oh, oh, and he's done the little... Oh, great he's... defense there by Tim Lang. It was. Again. That's Hicks three has had about three chances. Great defensive play there. As we see a lob here. Oh. Great hustle back there by the Supercats to... Uh, as we see Nickel Wusu. Three. Boom! Oh. Wusu! As the Geelong Arena erupts. As does the bench. And that's going to be a real boost for Wusu after his last shot. So good job, Nick. Let's see if this can lift the Supercats. The, I still think they can lift the intensity, lift the voice, talk on defense. As another. I think that was. three from Tim Lang. I'm not sure. Was that a, was that a pass you or was that a three? I think that was a three. As we see, Matt Kenyon check back in. Matt Kenyon and Josh Oswald, my yeah. bad, for uh, Tim Lang and Brian Dolo. So. And Louis Varley checking in for AJ Williams. So certainly Louis Varley's come up the rotation. He certainly had a good, core, uh, a good game last week. So it's good to see him, as I said. Uh, a local product, a local YMCA guy that does well on the Tuesday night. So let's see what he can bring to this team. And he's definitely a threat to any offensive set. Great. As Demarcus finds wow. Lewis Thomas in the post. And did, did Lewis just do a flip over his head? Did he even look at that one, Hugh? I don't know, but Lewis it went is in, so we at take the moment. It. Lewis yep. has 18 points so far in this game. And he's shown us right now. He's the man. He's the man that leading the job. Oh, Great move. Rolling down falling. the lane. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, we. <laughs> that was spectacular. As Marlowe knocks that out to Louis, round to Wusu. Great ball movement here by the Supercats. Gatlin in the corner of a three. That looks. Ooh. Couldn't knock it down. Froling pushing it out. And we Ooh. have a foul on Demarcus Gatlin. And Demarcus is a bit upset about that one. Not usually his nature, Demarcus. As Demarcus Gatlin looks to be on. Three fouls, so which is all right. But how many fouls not... do they get in this year? Is it five or six? Five. Come just, on, John. just check. No, I was, I was, on, I was checking you, checking you on the ball, mate. But still, a clumsy foul there by Demarcus. He's the key player, one of the keys. Just that foul that you just don't Great need. Great ball movement here by the uh, Danny Long Rangers. But equally good again by Louis Thomas there. He got in the passing lane, had the hands up. So well done to the Supercats. And As takes it to the rack. The back, little back bit of bump, bad luck. Good hustle there. The game's just lifted Lucas that little Barker bit. Well down. done, Varley. 
And we can see that Lucas Barker really likes to uh, push the intensity down the court. As Demarcus Gatlin comes off the court and Michael Rebula back on. No, I like I like Webb's in the game for this too because I think he provides just real stability. He's just a clever player. He knows where to go, the right spots. Can hit the open 15-foot shot. Just knows what he's doing. So let's see what role he plays here. Yeah. Working As we see Kearney's Drew pull up. Hicks with a rebound miss. off to Rebula in transition. As we see Revzi pull it out, which is... Probably a good decision there in the end, wasn't it? Let's see, get the Supercats to their half-court offence here. So Danny Nong in the, yeah, the, yeah, in the straight-up man-on-man here. Bit of a mismatch with Thomas here in the post. Here we go. Let's see if Thomas can exploit this as he goes out, out to, to Louis Bali. Bali. Ah. Just shoots it long, a foot long there. Sam Froling with his 12th rebound. Yeah, he is a beast on the board, isn't he, Hugh? For a guy that moves when we did that awesome dunk a couple of minutes ago, he is a beautiful, beautiful look mover. Lewis Thomas with another rebound. Supercats on the fast break, three on two. Great ball movement there. Great pass from Louis Varley. Brilliant assist. That's how to run a three on a, a, a three on two transition break, isn't it? I got my words tied there, and that's probably what usually happens with me. As the Supercats lead, 22. Uh, sorry, my bad. 62 to 55. With Lewis Thomas shooting in a very nice clip of 9 from 10. So 90% from Lewis Thomas. Yeah, it's outstanding. As Kernich Drew pulls up again with Working another hard miss. on the boards, everyone. There's, there was about six rebounds in there. Comes out we see Kenyon from another three with another miss. Oh, great board there by Varley. So I'm really impressed with, with his minutes tonight. And Lewis Thomas seems to be a bit cooked at the moment. Oh, seems to be a bit tired. He's played seven real intense <laughs> minutes here, hasn't he, Q? As we see Owusu give the ball into Marlo Hicks. Such a force, Faces Marlo. up, faces up. What's he not putting multiple fakes in? Out oh, to Thomas. Thomas. At the top, short oh. on that one. As Sam Froling's out deep, and Danny Long don't see him. Yeah, there was a half a chance there, wasn't there, Hugh? But 62-55. So Super gets that actually after Danny Long got back to even. They've, you know, on seven and zip run here. Froling for three. Or oh, in and out, so bad luck there. And chase down well. Great offensive rebound, but bad luck with the hands there. Sue Beckett's in transition. Rubula. Great Ooh. play by Froling with the block in there. As we see, the uh, Dandenong Rangers currently shooting 6 from 24 from the three-point line. So 25% clip. That's pretty poor, isn't it, Hugh? Not their night from out there. As we see, Lucas Barker take another three. Right, they've done well. What they have kept the game in, they've got plenty of offensive rebounds. Great defense there, yeah, though. At Lewis and Thomas as Lucas Barker cleans up the boards and gets the M1. And the foul looks to be on Louis Varley as we see both teams bringing multiple subs. Three subs here for the uh, the Eating Rangers and two in here for the Supercats. So you have five new players on court. Looks to be Frawling, Oswald and Kernich Drew out for the Dandenong Rangers and Lewis and Marlow out for the Supercats coming in for the Rangers is Kobe Wilson, Williamson, sorry, and Declan Sukup, uh, and the final one looks to be Tim Lang, and coming in for the Supercats looks to be Mark Goodwin and Liam McAherney. I've been really impressed here by the point guard there for uh, Danny Long Rangers. He's been really clever play. He's got he's, he's got years of experience on his side. A great little smart play he made then to to score that bucket, but couldn't knock down the foul shot. But again, hands, active hands by Danny Nong, and they got the offensive rebound in another set, and these are the one percenters that count, all those and, extra little bits. And Lucas Barker has a nice-looking stat line at the moment. 14 points, five rebounds, and four assists. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely stat. You're, you're right, and there he is, getting the ball. He's for three. Get it again. Boom! That is a it knocks deep it down. Three. Absolute great form. Right on cue, Hugh. Great commentating. As we see... The Supercats now only up by two after that three from Lucas Barker. And a turnover, which looks to be off the hands of Liam McInerney. McInerney down in the post. They were just a little bit strong on the pass. It's interesting, again, the Supercats uh, got the two inputs off. And just looking at the, the body language on the bench, it doesn't look good to me here. I mean, that's, it, there's almost head hanging over there. They've got Hicks, Gatlin, Thomas. They've got four starters on the bench. I key, think key minute here. Yeah, look, the Supercats have uh, definitely gone with a more 
a bench orientated squad as a Wusu. Crosses that over. That was a nice move. Woo! With the so down for two. With the M1. And the foul looks to be on Kobe Williamson. Great move there by Nika Wusu. Oh, really, he almost lost the handle in transition there, got it back, went, yeah. went to the left and finished off with a great little bucket. But the Supercats are uh, obviously taking off four of their starting five. Um, I think it's just a precautionary by Coach Leon. Um, they've still got another quarter to go, uh, which could be a big quarter. So they need to make sure that, well, that they're fresh. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't. Okay. I don't, and I don't feel there's no there's no bad chemistry out there. The oh, team's no, no, very. No. The no. team looks very. They're communicating well at the moment. Absolutely, um, no. Pleased with the intensity and their effort on, but I guess only time tells, doesn't it, Hugh? As Lucas Barkley and gets good hands again by Louis Varley. He's really stepped up his defence as he's gone into this high league this year, and something probably he's been working on. Wusu for three. This is big. Oh my gosh, Nigga Wusu! That was he has cover. stepped up. Nika Wusu with the big three from out in the car park and here I must at the Geelong Arena. I must apologise to Liz, our camera lady. She's just about, I've just about blown her ears off, so sorry about that, Liz. I think everybody's ears at home have gone. As we see Matt Kenyon give the ball into Kobe so 16 Williamson. 16 seconds, eight point lead to the Supercats. Oh. And as the Supercats bench erupts, yep. Brenton O'Brien, the assistant coach of the Supercats, very happy with that one. We love to see that. That's what we want to see. You want to see that from both teams, the intensity as, on the bench. As Kernich Drew and Boyadolo check in for Kenyon and Lucas Barker. Wow, what a big last minute and a half. We said about the, you know, the, the, the five, this, I, well, I mentioned it, Hugh, you were confident, but the, they've come off and done really well. So if we can get eight seconds here, Eight point lead. If they can get to double digits to finish this, they will be extremely happy. Wusu hard to the rack. Oh. Off to Rabula, and it's a good one for two. No, no basket for Goodwin. Tried to move the ball too much. As we see, the Supercats coming with the lead at three quarter time, 68 to 60. And with energy here, it's great to see. Scoring leaders in your game tonight. Lewis Thomas, 20 points for the Supercats. And a brilliant quarter there by Louis, yep. With Demarcus Gatlin trailing with 14 and Nika Wusu with 12. Lucas Barker for the Dandenong Rangers, 17 points. He is killing them out there. Kearney Strew not far behind with 16. Tim Lang with 9. Rebounds, Sam Frawling is cleaning the backboard tonight. He is 13 rebounds this year. Nine, oh, sorry, five to each to uh, Barker and Lang. And for the super catch, we've got uh, 10 to Marlow Hicks. Nick, Nick Awusha getting up a good statistical line here with, with uh, 12 points and a brilliant quarter by uh, Nick there. Five, is, uh, five rebounds and two assists. So I think the super catch, had, had, it was a patchy quarter for both teams there, Hugh, wasn't it? But um, I think Nick, you know, Nick Awusha in those last few minutes really knocked in a couple of jump shots and they went to the bench really fired up. So it's great to see the, the super catch veteran, the super catch captain really leading from the front there. Still shooting in a very nice, nice clip there at 50%. So Nick Wusu is out there at the moment. As we uh, go to the other game in the league tonight uh, between the Ballarat Miners and the Kilsyth Cobras down at the Miner Dome in Ballarat. Uh, Ballarat are up by two at the moment over Kilsyth uh, with about three minutes to go in the third. So another close game here. Yeah, and Ballarat have really been the powerhouse of this season um, in NBL 1, but also the uh, Four, three, also uh, Kilsyth with with the caliber of players they have in their in their in their lineup. So uh, look, the finals in the men's league should be interesting. Um, the last couple of rounds this year were were very very entertaining and we look to have an enter entertaining fourth quarter here down at the Geelong Arena yet again 68 to 60 going the Geelong Supercats way so the, the game is not over here is it I mean we've got we've had since that first quarter blow by the Supercats it's really been a good game the game lifted intensity and look let's expect that intensity to lift this last quarter the game's on the line whoever loses tonight their season's done as so, we look at the lineups on the court for the Supercats, we have Owusu, Goodwin, Rebula, Vali, and McInerney. So remaining the same. 
As they, Dan, finish, yeah, as they Dan, finish that quarter here. Danny yeah. Long Rangers with Declan Sukup, uh, Josh Oswald, Lucas Barker, Bayadolo, and Kernich Drew. Now, the last time the Supercats played Danny Long down here at the Geelong Arena, it was what I like to say a very good looking game. Uh, as the Supercats got away with a five point win. So, in history, it's it's turned out to be a good game. So, and both teams know that their seasons are on the line as of this stage. So, Absolutely. they've got everything to play for. So interesting that the, the lineups that both teams have started with. It yeah. looks like to me they're coming out with their you know a few bench players each, so they're leaving the, the, the main guys on to we, you know to that home stretch, that final final phase of the game. As we just wait for our uh, looks to be a bit of leftover sweat on the court. Thank you to our floor swipers down there. No, we've, uh, got, we've got the veteran on the court, haven't we, Hugh? Good old Frank, Frank Morrissey as we, uh, as we look to get started here down at the Geelong Arena. You said good looking game a couple of minutes ago, Hugh. The last game we had down here, was that, was that sort of like Seattle Super Sonic uh, Chicago Bulls of the early 90s? Is that type of game? Or are you, you're too young for that, Hugh, aren't you? Too young for that, Well, that's Johnny. what it was. Sean Kemp Gary Payton, Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, that's what we wanted to say. So let's hope we get some action here. We've had some brilliant action here. NBL one men's competition. As Mark Goodwin, Goodwin takes it to the rack. And Rabula, right spot, off. right time. Great basketball IQ like there by Rabula yeah. to, to well, open both, up the key. Absolutely. Both plays there, wasn't it, Hugh? So what have we got defensively here? Just the Supercats in the straight man on man. McInerney guarding Froling. And a good job there. Oh. oh. Great effort on the tip in. It sat on the ring there. Wusu leading the charge out here. He's just looking aggressive. I'm really pleased with how he's looking. And there he goes, Wusu. I might be showing some Wildcats bias here, but that's my man. Nick Wusu is coming through with 14 points now for the game. So he's really been he's really been the one that's opened up the game. But looking, just looking aggressive. Back to Nick Wusu of when he was 25 or as, 30. As Bayadolo turns over the basketball off his knee. Great defense there by Nick Wusu. And we have a timeout from uh, from Coach Perry. Looks to be a bit unimpressed as, oh, absolutely. as the Supercats bench are just enjoying this game at the moment. So Certainly the two benches tell a tale there, don't they, Hugh? The Supercats have gone with the enthusiasm. There was high fives all around. We're dandying on. They've got lots to talk about. But so. it's only a 12-point deficit, and there's plenty of there's plenty of time left. And they're a smart team, and they're a quality team. They've made this finals because they're good enough. They had that great victory last week to make get them in. So plenty of time and plenty plenty to work on for them. And I don't want to sound biased here, but I uh, recommend everyone come down next weekend down to the Geelong Arena to watch the NBL One women play the. Uh, oh, I don't even remember who are playing playing the Ringwood Hawks. <laughs> You're on the coaching staff here. Oh, Come that's on. a bit bad. Um, <laughs> playing the Ringwood Hawks down here at the Geelong Arena at 7 o'clock, I believe. The so game time is. I think it is here, yeah. So looking forward to that. And I just want to congratulate you, Hugh, for your work with the Supercats. It's a, a learning experience for you this year, Hugh. And I, I know you've enjoyed yourself and stepping up in the coaching rank and learning a lot from you know, those people around you. Like, um, like, obviously, Herbie's got a lot to share, but also Alan McKee. And so congratulations mm. to you, Hugh. As we see Mark Goodwin. With a nice little step wow. out. Wow! I think things are rolling for the Supercats here. As we see them get back out to that first quarter form here. And look at the defensive intensity, the rotations there. Hey. Great hands there by Nick Wusu. And the Supercats are really putting on the pressure now. Yep. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, how the Dandenong Rangers can respond to this. Wusu. As a Wusu. Nearly gets another steal. Just in the right place. He's moving as good as he has for a long time. Oh. Great little finish. Offensive rebound and the big lefty trolling there. Just settles down the super. Settles down Danny Long a little bit there and just takes a little bit of wind out of the Supercats. But still a 74 to 62 lead here to the Supercats. Wusu just at the top of the key. Ooh. He stepped back for three. Oh. Just off the left ring there. Wusu, Lucas Barker, yet again bring the ball up the court. Lucas has been the main ball carrier for this game yeah. as Tim Lang launches from deep. And the ball looks to be off Sam Froling here. Yeah, really. Back, back to Lucas Barker. Uh, 
playing a pretty good, pretty good game, shooting at 54% with 17 points. Yeah, look, look, look he's, again, he's got a great um, statistical line there. He's the real, lead, clearly the leader of this team. Watching him work hard down there in the post as we defensively. See Rubula missed the deep two. And great offensive rebound over the back by Goodwin there. So he's playing some good, solid minutes. The probably could have been a foul there. He got, got to be used him as a step ladder as the Big Mac can't convert on the inside over yeah. Tim Lane. Sort of did this sort of bit of a fade away there and great defensive play. As all. we seem to have a foul here. McInerney's remonstrating something. It's on him here, was it? I didn't didn't actually yeah, see, but it looks to be the foul on McInerney as we yeah, see Marlowe Hicks check back into the game for Liam McInerney. It looks like. I didn't actually see what happened there. No, I, was, I had my eyes on the ball in the, in the backcourt there, and I think there was just a little bit of action, a bit of a screen or something, and certainly a bump. I'm just having a drink here. As we see Lucas Barker passing the ball in. Oh, and he's thrown it away as we see a turnover from Lucas Barker. That was just a poor pass in the end, wasn't it? A bit of miscommunication there, wasn't it? Yeah. between uh, him and Sam Froling, but Supercats really need to capitalise off this. Yeah, they uh, want to get they a can, score here, don't they? Hugh? They can get a score here. This will open up the game. And I, and I think Coach Leon will be soon to get the... Uh, soon to get AJ and DeMarcus back into the game, mm. as well as Lewis Thomas, as Marlowe gets blocked by Matt Kenyon. And Gandon Ong in transition here. Great and finish great there by... Finish, yeah. Great finish by Kearney's Drew. Yeah, who he's had an outstanding game as well. Up to, I believe, to be 18, 18 points. points yeah. So only a 10-point deficit. Need to score here, the Supercats. A Wusu in deep. Goodwin fakes the three, oh. hits the, got the 18 foot long. Oh. Hicks in the right spot. As we see yeah. a foul on Lucas Barker, which looks to be, I believe, on the rebound here. As we see the big three, the Marlow, not Marlow, sorry, uh, Demarcus Gatlin, AJ Williams, and Lewis Thomas check in for Rebula, Goodwin, and Nick Owusu. And a much, a much earned round of applause there for the bench players in Owusu who just as, had a great little burst. As Leon gets around Nick Owusu, who's just played outstanding in the minutes he's got. So it's the starting five here, minus Owusu with Varley in. So good five here for the Supercats. AJ taking it to the rack, Ooh. steps back for the 12-footer. Oh, as a nice rebound there by Kenyon. Sam Falling. Just a quick stat update is one point off a double-double. Wow. 15 rebounds, nine points as he throws that down. With ease. Which has now put him on a double-double. Yep, so great game here. We look, he's been quite offensive, but plenty of time to rectify that. And an eight-point deficit here. Barley for three. Well, certainly straight from our angle here. Just that little bit long, wasn't it? As we see, Sam falling again with the ball coming down the court. Eight points here, crucial minutes here. Taking it hard, Varley. Kenny yeah. Drew commits a foul on Louis Varley. Wasn't happy, but I think it was the right call. Yeah. Right in, right in front of the referee there. I mean, as that Louis Varley's second foul of the night. So crucial, crucial couple of minutes here, Hugh. They're just they're close enough. Yeah. They're definitely close enough, aren't they? Six and a half minutes, eight points possible, as we saw last time down here. Uh, definitely possible, Hugh. You can get, so, eight, you can get eight points yeah. in 30 seconds, can't you, these days? So. Neither team can relax at the moment. No. Uh, as we see another foul. It looks like the Supercats are struggling to uh, to deal with Tim Lang under the ring, as that's the second foul in under a minute on him that's been committed. So Marlowe committed one and just then, and Louis uh, Liam McIrney. Yeah. He's certainly a big unit, though, isn't he? Um, yeah. He looks at, look, I haven't got the heights in front of me, which is disappointing, but I think he looks about six foot eight and, you know, fair, fair bit As of... As they go into the post to him and, oh, Wow. Tried to get a bit fancy yeah, with it. Hicks overplayed on the, um, As overplayed in the post defence, didn't he? He got lucky there with the missed yeah. dunk. I think it was Will Perdue going for a dunk there, that looked like, for those from the 90s Chicago Bulls. It was Will Perdue. He missed a lot of stuff back in the day. As Hicks we see with a fake. Hicks. Go Kicks it out. AJ, not sure what to do, low on the shot clock here. Great defense there by forced, Tim Lang. Yeah, just forced it a bit, AJ, there. I know it was low on the shot clock. Oh. What oh, bad luck there. Froling made a nice little fake, didn't he, Hugh? Just couldn't get the little 10-foot jump shot. 
So 74 to 66, 529 left in this NBL1 men's elimination final from the Geelong Arena. Anyone's game still. Crowd trying to get into it. Throwing out the wing, gets it into the post. Good deep by the super gets so far. Hicks. Shot clock down gets nice and low. Kareem, that was a that was a massive sky hook, wasn't it? As we see Marlow Hicks clean up the boards. Out to Lewis Thomas, who's flying down the court, but can't convert on the layup. And so Danny Long back in transition. Parker pushing it. So we see Matt Kenyon missing the three. Great rebound there by Tim Lane. Awesome rebound, wasn't it? Yeah, great. They've, they have got a lot. Rolling for three, and he knocks it down. It's back to five. That's a big three there for Massive Sam Frawley. Massive three. And his numbers uh, are going up now. Here we are, aren't they? Sam Frawley now with 14 points, 16 rebounds. It's a good statistical for a young fella. So good on him. So five points here. Supercats got to get a score again. This is that, look, at they're, they're looking indecisive again. Who do we go to? What offense do we run? Who's going to take it up? Four on the shot clock. AJ There's for AJ three. Got blocked. Fading. Gets blocked and it looks to be out. What have we got in the shot clock there? One Hugh. Out on the Dandenong Rangers with one second left on the shot clock. So it's a real catch as, and shoot here. As AJ missed his three. So it'll be interesting to see what they do here. Whether they... As I they like go it. in for the baseline lob, it nearly converts. What a clever play though. But they get out in. As Lewis Thomas Ooh. gets called for the blocking foul. And Sam Frawley finishing under... Massive pressure. Louis, yeah, it was, look, it was, it was good. He, Louis, Louis Thomas played great D, but better offense again wins it. So brilliant play there by Froling. 74 to 71, 4 minutes 18 left in this game. As we go into a timeout called by Coach Leon. So it'll be interesting to see what Leon talks about over this timeout, whether he's trying to trying to keep the boys calm because they're still in this game. Oh, uh, as we... And I think Perry... Coach Perry just wants to keep them to keep rolling. Um, yeah, as Sam Frawling just scores and scores again. So yeah, he's, he's he's really stepped up this last quarter. But look, it's a you say Hugh, what 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 you know? There's so many options here for the Supercats. You don't see many coaches getting really aggressive and abrasive with their coaches now. Coach O'Neill down there on his seat, just reinforcing what he wants the Supercats to do for this last few minutes. As as is Coach Perry. But you know, for the Supercats, they've they started so well and their intensity looked so good with the bench players on just the change up in the lineup. It's um, not necessarily that, but it's certainly coincided with Danny on coming back. So, and the Supercats have been in many positions like this before, so it's not it's not a rare a rare sight for for them to be under some pressure from a from a team that is a good much, quality team. Here, pretty much at the same level. That's then. exactly right. Um, yeah. Looking through the season, both these teams played pretty much the exact same level of basketball. Yeah. Um, so, as we see, falling on up for his M1, and he misses. Mm. So that's, that's a big foul shot to get him out. This is going to be so a key to the game now, foul shots. 74 to 71 with just over four minutes to go. AJ for three. He got open there, and oh, oh. nice shot, though. Just couldn't knock it down. As AJ misses that deep three, and we have Lucas Barker bringing up the ball. So, same thing here. Who do they, what offense do they run? What, what, where do they go? Where's their, where's their set play? I think they uh, just need to keep going inside yeah. as AJ gets his hands in the passing lane. Yep. Now I reckon you've got to get the ball to Gatlin here or Thomas. You just got to. Let's see what they do. Williams to Varley. Oh. As another. It was the right don't idea, but just don't another. Know what happened there? Yeah, a just, wusu. Just, oh, not a wusu. No, sorry, was, was Gatlin. Getting, just long on the pass, Threw long and strong, wasn't away. it? That's what the adrenaline does at the end of these game, close games, Hugh. So three minutes, 27 to go, three-point lead to the Supercats. The scoring has certainly dried up this half. And I think we're talking a little poorly on the uh, on the Supercats here, but their defense at the moment, they're not creating offensively, but their defense, they are... Danny Nong aren't scoring no, either. No, that's so. right, yeah, absolutely. It's working both ways, isn't it? I guess that's what happens. You tense up. It's an elimination final. You tense up. Who's going to shoot it? Am I going to be the one? What's happening here, sir? As we see Lewis Thomas go hard to the basket and get the lucky roll. A great roll, wasn't it? Lewis I think that Thomas with his two more points to add to his 20, making him 22 points. And I think he's the man to go to. I think really he is down here. As we see, Sam Froling. Just a beautiful move. No weak side help there. 
no, nice Rexon and smooth. Just got an easy, easy layup on the on the great post move, didn't he? So 76, 73. You see him falling now. We've got a ripping game down here in Geelong. You see him falling now with 18 points and 16 rebounds. As we look to have a matchup between Lewis again. It's the Thomas Froling show. They're going head to head here. Let's see what Andy Long do this. Froling's up high at the moment. As we see the ball go to Froling. Froling on the Into wing. Into Tim Lang. Hicks with good D. Oh, great and a great there. cut. Oh, and Lewis Thomas with a great defense. It was, wasn't it? Thomas is D. He, again, he's, he's absolutely spent. He worked so hard on the offensive and defensive end. 78 to 73 in the last two minutes of this game. Crucial time. Met Gatlin for three. This is big. Ooh. Can't knock it down. Oh, oh fortuitous bounce. Gatlin in transition. This is his play. Oh, AJ with. Oh, AJ, oh. it's all happening. Uh, yeah! Woo! As the crowd erupts here at the de at the Geelong Arena and the bench and everyone on it. Coach uh, and about great play there by the two inputs. Coach Brenton lose it as Lewis, as Demarcus and Lewis try to get this crown involved. And I think it was as much as Demarcus got that last board and that la and the finish. AJ's little rebound in between was the key one there, Hugh, wasn't it? Massive, Hugh. This is big for Demarcus. Is, I feel this is going to lift the silver cards. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. As the, we see a timeout from Coach Perry. Yeah. What? That's the. That could be the key play of the game. I think Hugh it was. It was a great defensive effort by Danny Nong in transition, but just that extra extra by AJ and Demarcus got the offensive, two offensive rebounds and the great finish. And more importantly for Demarcus, one of his, you know, the one one of the weaknesses in his games, or the weakness really, is his foul shooting. And he's what's he shot at tonight, Hugh? But that was a key foul shot there. I will find that out Thank for you, you guys as we go back to the uh, Ballarat Kilsyth game at halftime. It is 45-33. Ballarat are up okay, so in our first qualifying final. So if well, Ballarat do win that, they get a double chance, which is... Well, they've already got the double chance, haven't well, they? Yeah, but the, the, the next time so final. Just, oh, sorry, I was just going to go through a few stats here, and I think people at home, I, I'm not sure what the Supercats shot last week, but the foul shooting, I think it was less than 50%. But today, 9 out of 10. That is, I a mean, 90% clip, that's, that's, uh, that, that's Rick Barry-esque. So that is beautiful. That's Steph Curry-esque. So... That is brilliant play. Both teams have struggled a little bit from the three-point line. Geelong are at eight for 27, and uh, Danny Nong at eight for 31. So, As otherwise, we see the Supercats have looked to gone back to their their starting lineup with Nick Awusu. Yeah, Bali, some great minutes there, but I think Nick back on just knows what to do and how to run the offense, and he's had a brilliant game. So. I think a great substitution there from um. And both teams have got oh. a lot of experience. As Kernish Drew. Really? Looks to be taking it to the free throw line for three shots as Lewis Thomas commits his third foul for the night. Yeah, it was a smart play there, wasn't it? Louis Thomas was um, closing it really hard, jumped in the air, and, and two to come, like, he stepped sorry, in. My bad. Yeah. Two shots, foot must have been on the line. So just did that sort of lean in step, that step through uh, Hugh. But, but great read there by uh, Kenneth Drew to, to really see Lewis closing out hard, take the contact. Yeah. Smart plays in the queue. As he makes the first. So again, key foul shot here. Get the it's seven points now, 81 to 74. So we get it back to six, and we know what six is. It's just two three-pointers. Knocks As he it makes down. The second. Great job. All right, bit of full-court pressure. Oh. As AJ Williams gets tripped by Matt Kenyon. That looks to be Matt Kenyon's second foul. So no one in real field foul trouble down here for neither team. Uh, Lewis Barker is on three and multiple three players for the Supercats on three. So interesting the setup here from the uh, the, the end line of the, the, the you know the uh, three quarter court offense into Wusu's hands. Still pressure oh, and great pressure too. As Wusu throws the ball away and Lucas Barker racing to the rim. Absolutely great finish. As the game now is only four points the margin with that just point. over a minute left. As Again, the Supercats move the ball down the court. Still the, the, the clock's on the Supercats' favour. A minute eight to go, four, four points. So massive, massive offensive for the Supercats. They've got it down, down to 12 seconds on the shot clock. Where do they go? Thomas in the post. 
He gets to, he does the five foot hook and gets the roll. Massive play there. As the deficit is now out to six, still in it as Kearney's through. That looks good. No. Oh, great rebound there by uh, Matt Kenyon. Foley's going to no. oh, smart play there by Foley. The extra play and oh. oh. As Tim Wayne cleans up the boards. What have we Four got? Points, Four points, 38, 38 seconds. seconds. Plenty it's, of time. As we see full court pressure here from the Daniel Rangers. Oh. As AJ nearly turns it over. Well, Hicks takes the catch. Just got it over there in time. I wasn't. I didn't have, great composure there by Demarcus Gatlin. It, it was to in get the end, that. wasn't it? As Wusu gets the ball stolen. Oh, and and As we see, oh. sportsman like foul. Called on. This Lucas Barker, it looks like. Uh, looks like Lucas Barker got a, a wusu a bit high, as they say in the football. Yeah, it was certainly. It would have been um, a free kick in the footy, but I think yeah. I think it looks slightly unlucky with that call. That the, as we know, mo we know the unsportsmanlike. And, like, and I think in this sense of game, that stuff has to be called because if if they leave that and they get a bit. But I think he was just going through with his hand and it was just up high, Hugh. So it was, look, it was, I think it was inadvertent. And slightly unlucky, but you're right. That's probably by the letter of the law, it's the right call. That is a big call, though. This could change the game. If a Wusu hits these, that is six points. Yeah. And he misses the first. Still, the Supercats get one chance here. Yeah. Shot clock's out. So the ascendancy, really, with the Supercats now. I mean, Danny Long have got to get a stop. I mean, and this, I think, this is key. I think five points, just to me, it's just that massive. You know, it's a big difference to four. So Wusu... As he misses the second... And it looks like the Supercats, let's see what Danny Ong does here, whether they whether they look to foul or they look to they look to get a steal. Well, I think that you, you, you look for that initial steal here, and I think they've got to go for the foul, don't they? Because otherwise the Supercats have got the shot clock in their favour the, and the game clock. So. As we have 19 seconds here, correction here, as the shot clock is down to 14 seconds. So as the Danny Ong Rangers look to go to foul. And here come so. these crucial foul shots. AJ Williams to the foul line. Supercats have missed their last two foul shots, so the pressure's on. The heart will be racing here, the adrenaline running. This is massive. We know if he gets two here, they're, they're almost a certainty, but so this is crucial. Boom! He makes the first. Down goes AJ. Great shot. And the crowd goes up. Danny Nong's heart sink just that little bit, but they're not out of it. I don't know here whether, the, whether Danny Nong can conjure something as he makes the second. Yeah. And we have a timeout here from Coach Perry, who is now out of timeouts. I repeat, he is out of timeouts. So, so huge workers, talk us through here. What do you think? It's a timeout here for the offensive team. Will, will they advance the ball? They could, they've got two options here. What can they do? You're most likely, you're better off to advance it. There's probably, that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah. Uh, you've got to get a quick three off as quick as you can. Yeah. And then you've got to get that quick steal back out to the three point line. It's got to be a quick three. I mean, there's six points down. Going for two now is pretty useless. So a three, two three pointers can give them overtime. Yeah, it's a big call. Um, but Supercats, Coach Leon still has two timeouts yeah. so left to blow. So wouldn't be surprised uh, if we use one of them. Yep. Yeah. So Supercats are definitely in the driver's seat at the moment of this game. Hugh, one of my favourite NBA games from the early 90s. I'm going back, I'm showing how old I am. Rodney Rogers, I think he was playing for the Denver Nuggets, hit three three-pointers in the last eight seconds to steal a game. So Anything's possible. I'm not it, saying it's it impossible happen. for Danny Long, but... No. Right, let's see what they run. They'll have a quick offence here to get knock it, hit a three. They've got, they've got their offence, they've got three-point shooters on the court, so a real quick one, and they'll be straight in for the steal. As Likewise, just... On. Sorry, he just requested a timeout on the score. Yeah. But smart play here from the Super because you don't want to foul a three-point shooter and stop no. the clock and give them something. So, again, the adrenaline's running. As the Both crowd teams. here at the Geelong Arena is roaring. Falling for Sam three. Oh. oh, no. Gatlin the rebound. Gatlin. That's all right. That's all right. That's going to waste a bit of time. Five seconds to go. Falling. Kenyon. Just smart here. Three. Misses it. The game is over! As we see the Geelong Supercats advancing to the next round with the defeat over the Dandenong Rangers, 85 to 79 down here at the Geelong Arena. But what a great game yeah. for both teams. Uh, Geelong Supercats starting out just really Absolutely pushing the tempo. Fire, yeah. um, coming out, shooting at a great percentage. Second quarter, 
We got a cool switch over. Complete reversal, wasn't it, Hugh? And then um, from then on, it was it was a tight game. Credit to Danny Nong. They, they could have really hung their heads after that first quarter and got really, you know, down on themselves. But they fought back. They and, got back. And got Coach back. Perry yeah. and, and the Danny Nong Rangers have been a team to watch this season. Like, they've been very, very outstanding. They've been very, very high. As we hear the cheers and the... Uh, and the chance through here at the Geelong Arena. But both teams have been exceptionally good this season. As we as we go, we'll go through some of the stats with both teams having such great players. Uh, Lewis Thomas with a massive 26 points. He was really outstanding that second. Third quarter particularly, wasn't he? He's to really he, open up the game. But uh, also what he does, he provides such a defensive arm. Um, a defensive presence. He's long and he's just hustled. He's effort you can't question. Hello to one of my friends, young Ava, then she's just giving me a high five. Uh, as we also look to Marcus Gatlin, 17 points being explosive. Nickel Wusu really opened up this game, um, I believe, and he was the game changer. I think he was. Yeah, I agree with that last um, five minutes of that third quarter. Actually shooting at uh, 50%, which is a very high shoot. But I know we're focusing on the Supercats, but the Daniel Rangers had a really good game. Pernich drew 20 points. Lucas Barker, 19 points. Sam Frawling, massive double-double, 18 points, 16 rebounds. And so, yeah, we're seeing why he's leading. He's got an NBL contract with the Illawarra Hawks, and he showed particularly that second half and exactly he's, why. He's, he's a lefty, he's long, he's got multi talents, and he was super impressive. He's so, going to be a star one day. He so, is, isn't he? But, again... As we just said before, the Supercats advance on to the next round as the Dandenong Rangers get eliminated. 85 to 79 down here at the Supercats Arena. Thank you for watching. We do apologize for the first half of technical difficulties. We did get them sorted and we hope you guys enjoyed. From myself, John Walker and the Geelong Supercats, thank you for watching. Thank you very much, everyone.